What's up guys, how's it going? On today's video, we'll be installing this 19 row Mishimoto oil cooler. We have a three foot and a four foot braided hose. We have two race flux 10AN 2M22 adapters for the oil cooler plate on the M20. We have garage stick oil cooler brackets for the 19 row for the E30. And to top it off, we're gonna put some 20W50 pure oil in the motor. Let's get started. So I have the car up on jack stands, ready to go. I drove the car around the block, let it get up to operating temperature to ready to drain the oil. Let it cool down a little bit. I'm gonna start taking the front grill off and then we'll drain the oil. So now that the oil's been drained from the M20 block, we're gonna take off the lines to the OEM oil cooler, which would be using a 25 millimeter wrench. Uh, my oil cooler is held on by zip ties at the moment, so I'm just gonna cut those and get that removed. Now that the old oil cooler is off, I'm gonna lube up the O-rings on these race flux fittings, M22 to AN10 adapters, uh, M22 for the OEM uh, sandwich plate, and uh, the AN10 for the Mishimoto lines. So I'm gonna get those oiled up and installed. So I got the Race Flux fittings on, uh, nice and snug. I used the, I marred them a good amount, didn't have the right tool, but they're cinched on there. Um, I would say you need a 26 wrench or socket neither which i have at the moment um, to get those on so i'm gonna start getting the oil cooler prepped for install and then we'll go from there okay i got the oil cooler lines installed i will show you those in a second i'm gonna do a quick mock-up of the oil cooler with the grudge stick brackets um, just to see if my orientation of my lines are correct so I'm gonna quickly install, it comes pretty simple, three bolts, take the bottom two out, excuse my hand, covered in oil and grease. I did respray the Mishimoto logo um, as it is supposed to be, is shipped that way, but I'm gonna mount it upside down, so I resprayed it. So it's a very, very simple install with the garagistic brackets simply put it on top and thread them through the bottom so this is a pretty simple install after you install the brackets on the oil cooler no holes have to be drilled it simply bolts into the two holes on the radiator support under the hood latch uh, spring in the middle so I'm gonna quickly get those installed and we'll see what it looks like mocked up so I have the oil cooler mocked up like I showed earlier bolt right through the radiator support no no drilling um, garage stick on the product photos does show that you can put the bracket above the cooler um, I bolted it under seems to fit fine no problem uh, there's no oil in the system at the moment. I did also run the line to it. You can see those. I used the 90s on the actual braided line and left the straights for the sandwich plate. So I'm actually, to fill the cooler, I'm going to unbolt it and flip it forward and then refill it um, so that there's less air in the oil system. So I'm going to unbolt just the two at the top here. I'm going to try to leave the lines connected at the bottom and I'm going to fill the oil cooler. Now that I got everything installed, I'm going to start filling the oil cooler with oil with some 20W50 Pure All. So uh, let's do it.
So that took about a little more than a half quart of oil. Uh, you, can, you probably can't see that. Um, so now I'm going to put the lines back on and I'm going to start filling them from the other side of the line um, be, where they hook up to the sandwich plate. Now that everything's nice and tight, tightened down, I'm going to start adding some more Pure All 20W50 into the engine. Um, then I'm going to crank it over with the fuel pump fuse taken out so it can just circulate. Um, and then I'll keep checking the oil level. And then once it's ready to go, get it fired up. So I got the motor running now. I've been turning on, turning it off, making sure there's enough oil in it. Um, it's right below the high level at the moment. So I'm just going to let it keep running. We're going to check for leaks. Nothing underneath the car. Nothing dripping. From what I can see, no leaks. I'm going to button everything up. And then we'll go for a test drive. Uh, guess a little sneak peek of the Intellitronics gauges. Temp's good, volt's good, oil pressure's going down, or he's a little high at idle. But everything seems to be running good. I'm gonna turn it off again, check the oil again. Then we go for a test drive, check the oil again one more time, and we should be good. We use just about about a little more than five and a half quarts of oil. Excuse the mess. But overall, easy install. Here's what it looks like installed. Looks really clean. I have the hoses tucked down underneath there. Pop the hood one more time. Just have it running. Straight down. Really clean, looks good. Pretty easy process. Um, to make things easier would be to remove the hood hinge to get the bolts. Um, if you're doing it by yourself, to get the bolts in easier. Um, as well as removing the front bumper and front valence would make stuff easier. but. It's not too much of a hassle to just leave it all on and just route everything underneath. If you guys would like to see a kit made of everything I've shown in the video, I'll have everything link linked below, but put in the comments if you guys would want to see a kit so you can buy everything just at once. Uh, I'd be interested in looking to do something like that um, with all my installs. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.